Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is VMware Horizon View Training and this is ninth video in this series and in this series uh, video we are going to uh, see the installation and preparation of Microsoft RDS server for Horizon View. So <coughs> basically this video is regarding how, how you can prepare your Microsoft Remote Desktop Services server to host the Horizon View setup and how you can prepare those servers to um, get the application published on uh, by using the horizon view and how users can access those applications so in this video we are going to install and prepare one uh, remote desktop server uh, and in next video we are going to add th that um, remote desktop server RDS H in horizon view and then we will access the application which is going to be hosted on RDS uh, server so uh, here is my lab infrastructure which we have so the first uh, uh, we are using three servers and two thin client machines so first we have win 2k12 dc01 which is my active directory and dns server you can go here and see active directory and dns server and win 2k12 dc01 victorinfosol.com so this is my domain controller and the second server which we have is our horizon view connection server which is win 2 k 12 cs01 and here you can see win 2 k 12 cs01 and you can see i have logged into horizon view administration console here and you can see we have configured all these options in last video so everything is looking good and now what we are going to do we are going to add RDS server prepare the RD install and prepare the RDS server then we are going to add uh, one RDS farm here in this uh, um, horizon view so you can see here if you are going to prepare Microsoft automate or manual both are going to require Microsoft RDS host so that's why we need to create if you want to deploy a farm in horizon view so you need to must need to have a RDS Microsoft RDS host in place so we are going to install and configure this then we are going to see how what we can do with uh, this RDS host so for now our target is this server which is win 2 k 12 RDS 01 which is Microsoft RDS server if you go here you can see this is I have renamed this computer and join in my domain and I have configured uh, IP address so this is a brand new computer which I have just joined in my domain so currently you can see no roles no feature is installed on this machine and this is machine is brand new uh, brand new a uh, blank so you can see we have only installed Microsoft uh, VMware tools for because this machine is running on Workstation and we have installed classic cell which is this so <coughs> next we have two thin client machine which both are windows 7 embedded thin client machine uh, win 7 th01 and win 7 th02 so here you can see this is my two thin client machines and in both machines we have installed this uh, horizon view client and the connection server is already added here and here is our second server you can see and on the second uh, th02 and on second server also we have installed this so this is good and now let's focus on RDS server to install and configure the uh, RDS role so what we need to do so the first thing before installing the RDS you need to make sure what type of application or what type of things you are going to publish in this farm so basically you need to make sure what the application you want to publish so you need to install those application on the your RDS server so I have copied a few application here in software dumps on RDS server like Adobe, Chrome, Mozilla these all application so I'm going to install one by one all these application and then we are going to once all the application is installation is done we are going to proceed and uh, will install uh, Chrome uh, RDS role on this machine. So I'm just going to follow these installation for these application first. 
this is going to take some time so you need to make sure what type of like I want to publish this uh, notepad plus plus adopt reader all these application to my end user so you must need to install those application on your machine and also you need to make sure your all the application is updated latest updated if it's not updated you can go ahead and update those application and you can basically check the compatibility of your application with what you want to publish to your end user so this is a media player so I'm going to install all this So you can see most of the application is installed now and the only thing which is left is MS Office. So most of the time you want to publish the MS Office package to your end user. So I am going to install MS Office and then publish it. So this is my MS Office 2016 setup which I am going to install now. so MS Office installation is going to take some time so what I'm going to do I'm going to pause the recording here and once the installation is done uh, we will resume from there and we will install RDS role on this machine so going to pause the recording for now so now office installation is completed we can see all the application is ready now and then we can proceed for the installation of RDS role so I'm going to click on manage and add role and feature and then this is some information if you want to see like you must have administrator account and IP address configured and everything so we are good to go and click next and this is we are looking to install RDS so remote desktop services installation <coughs> and we are focusing on service session based desktop deployment so click next so what type of uh, or deployment you want to proceed so I'm going to uh, go with the standard which is a standard deployment deployment will allow to select uh, your roles on a multiple uh, server so like uh, you can host these services on different different servers like connection broker on one server uh, web role web access role on two other servers so you can define so I'm going to use the standard deployment click next and then what type of deployment you want session based deployment so users can log into this server and they can use the application or the they will get actually session on this machine and VDI based deployment which is going to be a one virtual machine for users so I'm going to use this session based text, uh, desktop deployment so click next and session based desktop deployment is going to install these three roles uh, connection broker web access and a remote desktop session host which is this is the main important role which we require here uh, it's require a um, uh, remote desktop session host so click next so I'm going to add this in connection broker so in our case our connection broker is going to work uh, this server uh, Hudson view is work, uh, going to work as a connection broker so Oh, this is good and RD web also I'm going to install and this is the role main role which we are talking about the RD as such session host role so add on this machine and click okay so it's uh, asking for reboot so what I'm going to do post MS office might be requires reboot so I'm going to reboot this now and then we'll start again and we'll see So it's rebooted and now I'm going to log in back again here. Wait for server manager to open. So 
RDS, then standard, then session based. And these three rules are good. And connection broker, I'm going to add RD web also. I'm going to add the server and the session of server, which is important one. And I click next. And now it's going to give you the option like uh, the session host server installation required one reboot. So we are good. Restart the destination server automatically. So during the installation, it's automatically going to reboot this server. So let's wait for this reboot and we'll verify once the RDS is good to go. So this installation is going to take some time around 2 to 3 minutes so let's wait so you can see now it's installing the connection broker role so it's going to do one by one and then going to reboot the server and post reboot it's going to configure the server so let's wait for some time here so now it's moved to web access role installation So it's going to install IS on this machine and then going to create the uh, login page and the RDS uh, home page for login where you user can log in directly and can use the application if you publish on this web access role so we are going to publish the application from here horizon view so we don't need to take care about these things And now this is also done and now it's proceeding with the final session host role installation so now server is going to reboot soon so you can see server is got rebooted now So now we are good to go and log in. So we need to, after RDS installation, we need to type the name, username basically. So RDS admin is my local, uh, um, basically domain account which I'm going to use locally to log into this RDS server. Now it's going to take some time to pop up this Chris server manager and installation and configuration window again for RDS. So let's wait for it. So now you can see the installation is started and in progress. So now it's going to configure all these roles one by one. So you can see it's configuring connection broker role now. So configuration is almost complete and it succeeded for connection broker and now it's configuring web access role is also succeeded. So everything is looking good and all the role installation is completed now we can see on desktop remote desktop services and is manager is role is installed and if i go to uh, remote desktop services you can see all three roles has been installed and we are good to go and if you want to create a collection you can create from here also so this is good and our rds server is ready to go and configure with this con connection broker so this is all about installation and preparation of Microsoft RDS for Horizon View step by step. So thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this video you can always post me in my given mail IDs. Thank you once again. Bye bye.